What's going on, everybody? It has been a long, long time. Too long. Man, I mean, it's been over a year at least. So, Lex, it's good to see you, my guy. Likewise, likewise. Glad to be back here on the uh, on the radio waves, if you will, good people. Hope everybody is doing well. Site school back in action where we are always focused on teaching people to see. So today we got a very, very special guest. We have a huge announcement, something that we have been working on for a very long time. So we're not going to waste any time. So we want to bring in Griffin. He is the, what do you, you say, the founder, the CEO, what? Man, Founder and CEO. You. you got it, Joe. You got okay, it. Okay, okay. So, Griff, man, go ahead and tell, tell the people about yourselves, and then we'll, we can get into the meat and potatoes. Sure, sure. Just so excited. So, I'm Griffin Pinkow. As, as Joe mentioned, I'm the founder and CEO of Foreseeable Future Foundation. Our mission is to help the visually impaired and blind live fulfilling lives through sports and recreation. We do that in many different ways through our programs, whether it's a funding program, advocacy program. We do some ranch programs as well and some recreational things and do a lot of other educational awareness awareness events all around the country that we help kids, young adults and veterans through who are visually impaired and blind and just also a visually impaired athlete at a very high level in tandem cycling and just so excited to work together with with you, Joe and Lex and Sight School and bring both two organizations together and, and do something really special this this fall. Yes. Yeah. So, so Lex, let's get into it, man. Go ahead. I'll let you do the honors. Oh yeah. So everybody, as Joe mentioned earlier, have a huge, huge announcement. I'm really excited to let you all know that we are going to be collaborating with the foreseeable future foundation this October, October 12th in Nashville, Tennessee, six o'clock PM at city winery. And we will be having a, an event that we are calling Come to Your Senses. It is a night of celebration, awareness, education. As Griffin mentioned, he does a lot of work as it relates to those who are blind and visually impaired. We are also focused with that same population here at Sight School. So we figured it would be great to kind of, you know, leverage Griffin and, and his knowledge and wisdom. This is going to be our first official event griffin has done a ton of these so he you know this is like this is like slow pitch for him he's going back to the park. <laughs> it was and, a no-brainer though lex for for us but, when when we all spoke a while ago to uh ha come together on this celebrate both organizations and both groups and just the great work we're doing in tennessee and in general and and see what else we can do through this uh unique experience absolutely absolutely so october 12th 2024 Nashville, tw Tennessee, City Winery, 6 p.m. is when the doors will open. And if you are in Nashville, definitely would love for you to come out. If you're not in Nashville, still would love for you to come out. And we'll, we'll definitely unveil the, the details, some of those details now. And then we'll also give the information in the show notes so that you know exactly where to find absolutely everything that you need to know about come to your senses anybody who's been looking for a reason to come to nashville this is your reason this is your excuse make it a trip bring your spouse bring your friends make it a girl's trip make it a a, a guy's trip whatever you need to be in the city you need to be coming to city winery to experience what we are crafting this is truly going to be something like the city has not seen before we are taking you know, Griffin. They do a dining in the dark experience. Sight school. We do a sightless sipping experience. We're bringing those things together to create a very unique experience. You know, the title has come to your senses. So we really want you to tap into a world beyond sight. This is going to be something that is not only it's going to be very, very impactful. You know, in sight school, we talk a lot about two way exposure. So as much as we focus on working with those who are blind and visually impaired, we are very passionate about working with those of the sighted community so they understand the skills that 
us, our population who are blind and vision period, that we bring to the table, how we are natural problem solvers. If that's going from being in a workspace to a social space to a sports and recreation space, how we navigate all of those. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to just give it all away, but this is truly going to be an impactful event. And this is the inaugural. You know, we are planning to do this one again, but I guarantee you, you don't be one of, one of those people who uh, you start seeing the stuff on social media, the videos, the posts afterwards and think, oh, man, I should have. You need to be you need to be there. October 12th, City Winery. We are starting it off with popcorn and champagne. They are going to be on the red carpet doing interviews. You guys will be able to walk this red carpet, get your pictures snapped, uh, experience what it's like to walk a red carpet. We are doing this thing up. We are not half-stepping at all. Like I said, it's a site school, foreseeable future. We're coming together. You know, Griffin and I talked last year about how can we get all yes. our things together? What, what can we do? And over time, we we this is what came about. And we also want to give a big shout out to Lexi from Turk Marketing. She has been a huge push in helping us to secure some of the things that we're going to have and also being at City Winery. So we want to give a big thanks to her as well. Yeah, and you mentioned, I'm sorry, Griffin, not to cut you off. Go ahead, Lex. Go, go ahead. You mentioned dining in the dark. And so for those who don't know about dining in the dark, actually, Griffin, won't you give them a, a little bit of a synopsis as to what dining in the dark actually is? Sure. It's it's actually pretty simple. Um, we bring the sighted community together with the visually impaired community, not to focus on the sympathy of what people who are visually impaired or blind go through, but to give them that firsthand experience if they're from the sighted world on how hard something as simple as eating a meal can be and really a part of of that comes to this event of really focusing on your other senses and being to tap into those with the people who are around you and be able to have that experience and give them that education and that perspective in a fun and challenging environment as as well as having other visually impaired and blind people there to to highlight as well what they've done and, and and really bring those senses together and bring those two groups together to do something which sounds simple eating a meal with little or no vision, but it's really not giving them that, that piece of, of what it's like for someone like, like myself or Joe or Lex or whomever else. So that's, that's a very quick snippet on dining in the dark, what we do and, and how we're really excited to bring that to, to this event and be able to, to Joe's point as well, focus on bringing together people from the sighted world and give them that experience, but also have some visually impaired and blind athletes and really unique, special people there. So it, it will be an event you don't want to miss. Absolutely. And and we we also going to have make sure that we have some, some Paralympians in the building other than, you know, those who are on your screen now. You know, mm -hmm. we'll make sure that you also yes. get, get the opportunity to hear from us you know, from Lex, Griff, myself, uh, throughout the night and other uh, members of our organizations so that you can truly understand what it is that that we are trying to do. You know, a lot of you know that for, for Lex and I, Sight School came from this, came from podcasting, putting it on YouTube. And we, you know, put ourselves in a position to take that and turn it into a nonprofit. You know, we, we had the opportunity to do events and now we, we really want to touch the people, but we also want to teach people to see, like we've been saying, this puts us in a position to do that. You know, we want you to dress up, feel good, come out, have a good time, but leave with, you know, an impression of, okay, I, I, I see it. That's the thing. This is going to be an eye opening event. I can't stress that enough. No pun intended, Joe. Here we go. No pun intended. <laughs> you know, this this is this is truly something remarkable. Uh, I remember Lex and I were talking a couple of months ago once we kind of got things secured with a venue and 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 Lex, we I'll never forget it, bro. You were like, you know, I don't get excited about a whole lot of things, <laughs> but man, I I'm excited about this. And, and we so, I, we we all are. We're all, all I think very excited about having being able to do this but then the possibilities as well the 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 takeaways and outcome from something 
like this where we're combining forces and coming together to to really you know make even a bigger impact on on everyone who's in attendance and and just in general hopefully moving forward that want to want to be a part of this and 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 legs of grip if you guys can kind of touch on you know what can the community do to be a part of this or you know like sponsorship wise and, and things of that what are there opportunities for that yeah, we definitely have opportunity to have sponsors for the event specifically. So again, once we put the information in the show notes, you'll be able to visit that and see what sort of options are available as it relates to sponsorship levels. Um, we also have the, uh, I mean, even, even beyond this event too. I mean, obviously we're putting a lot of focus on October the 12th. But we definitely have plans to continue to, you know, we obviously have our individual organizations and we'll have our programming and things that we do individually, but we certainly have aspirations to partner again in the future. So for sure, we definitely want you to you know, buy tickets for this event, become a sponsor for this event. All of those things are amazing, but certainly understand that our mission goes beyond October 12th and just will always need your uh, your your support, your donations, your just your your love, appreciation, um, all of those things. And the last thing I'll say before I before I be quiet because I like to talk a lot. Um, I just think this is a really great opportunity for anyone who who attends the event. Um, Joseph and I we've had this conversation before in the past, Griffin, but um, you know, me personally, as a person who's visually impaired or blind, we are a part of the greater population of people who have a disability. And I personally feel like a lot of times those who are blind and visually impaired kind of get uh, overlooked, no pun intended. We got a lot of puns flying around this morning. <laughs> um, <laughs> or this afternoon, whatever time's on your um, but I feel like a lot of times, you know, it's, it's such a, a disability where people find it very difficult to relate. You know, you see athletes who are uh, folks who might have mobility challenges and, you know, you, you see them using a wheelchair or a mobility device. And, you know, people just, you know, it is what it is. It's like, whatever. You might have folks who have an amputated leg or arm. And I feel like people are just like, oh, you know, that's, you know, it's totally fine. But as soon as people imagine their life in complete just absence of sight, it's almost like it's debilitating, it's isolating, it's, it's you know, it feels like they're just totally like, like they just cannot wrap their heads around it. And so I feel like this night will be a great opportunity to really bring awareness and to really open that door and and show folks like, hey, just because you might have a visual impairment or you might be blind, yes, it might feel very overwhelming. And we all have had our times where we've had to transition in you know certain ways and we all come from different experiences, backgrounds and things like that. I totally understand that, you know, the three of us have overcome. Um, but the point is you, know, you will be able to succeed and achieve, although you might experience um, some sort of sight loss. And so tonight, that night, we want to ensure that we really uh, nail that into the coffin. Like, hey, you still can live a fulfilling life. And between our two organizations, we're going to make sure that we do our best to provide the resources, the tools, the programs, the technology, the uh, you know, the professionals, whatever it is that we can do, we want to make sure that we can help bridge those gaps so that people can can see what it is that they're capable of doing amidst, um, you know, the challenges that they might face uh, from a from a blindness standpoint. Griff, what you got? I can't I can't say it any better than my than Lex did, Joe. I mean, the only other thing I would add is is that also, you know, any support either with sponsorships, buying tickets. Um, for this event, we'll just go towards Lex's point of what we can show people and what we can do, you know, past this event as well, and and what we're all capable of doing and, and being able to show people that when you're in that environment, what it's really like, even just for a couple of hours, and how that can 
maybe change their perspective or mindset or give them some more, um, you know, education moving forward and how all of us can make sure that we provide the resources and outlets for the people that maybe haven't overcome it or are still having challenges in making sure they're successful. Also, I would say volunteers, you know, any other way you can help, um, whether it's, you know, getting a sponsorship level or uh, buying tickets for, you know, this event, both organizations, also just continuing to help uh, with any other programs that we both have in, in the future for both organizations and also vol volunteers as well, or any other way you might be able to help with, with this event or just moving forward in, in, in general. That's, that's the only thing I would, I would, I would add, Joe. Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, so I, I would say, you know, make sure that you are, of course, you follow on site school, but also make sure you stay connected with foreseeable future. I'll tell you, you can go to go to the foreseeable future, the foreseeable future foundation website. That's where you can purchase the tickets. You can find out all about the other details regarding the event, uh, sponsorship opportunities, but also make sure you're following us on social media. We've got some really yes. good announcements coming very, very soon. Uh, regarding the event, regarding special guests, MCs, all of yes. those things. So I, I just, I'm we didn't even mention the, the auction. We're gonna have an auction, yes. so I don't yes surprise as to what types of things we're gonna have on the uh, available during the auction. But it's gonna be, I will tell you now, some of the things that I've been hearing, I, I'm gonna stay away from the table because I'll, you know. <laughs> That's, that's insider information, but I will let you know, we got some phenomenal items that are going to be available. I, I, yes. I, yes, they, he he said it without saying it. So please, please, please make sure you stay connected. Make sure you follow. Make sure anything you see us post that you share, that's, that's another huge ask that we have is you can please reshare you know, the post, the information, tell your friends, tell your family. Uh, also, teachers, educators, we need you in the building. We're going to make sure to take care of you so that you can be there as well because you serve a population of people that we want to be in touch with. So, yes, make sure you follow us on social media. You, you like this video, comment below, share it, email it, text it, whatever you got to do. Help us spread the word. October 12th, 6 p.m., City Winery, Nashville, Tennessee. Come to your senses. A lot of exciting <laughs> announcements to come. Come, and we're looking forward to hopefully seeing you there, or having you share it, or any other way that you can you can help. And we'll see you on October twelfth. Yes, Lex, take us out of here, man. Hey, we appreciate your time. I already said everything. I want you to be in the building. I would love to meet eat, meet each and every single one of you. And I know, um, Grip and Joe. We'll love to do the same. So again, until next time, site school. Yes. And people to see.